today we're going to do a wood turning job. We're going to turn um, a bowl out of this beautiful piece of um, Tasmanian oak. Um, this is a tree we um, cut down possibly five, six years ago now and um, obviously uh, cut it all up for firewood but um, I saved a couple of pieces that uh, I thought I could do something with. And this one's really, really tight, tightly packed it's together with the grain. Really heavy. <laughs> so uh, you can probably see a little bit better there. So because this is such a, a fairly bulky piece of wood, and I, I don't want my lathe walking across the workshop, um, I'm going to um, cut some of the, the, the corners off it, make it a little rounder, and I'm going to uh, introduce a new tool, and that is the chainsaw. Um, unfortunately for me, I don't have a bandsaw that's capable of um, of doing this type of job of cutting. You know, so what I need to do next, um, because I want to hold this fairly stable, I, I really just don't like putting this on something, a bench or another block of wood or the ground, and then attacking it with the chainsaw. Uh, what I'm going to do is get an old bit of plank in here that I'm going to screw to this, and um, then I'm going to clamp the whole thing on some saw horses um, outside, uh, nice and firm, so I know this is all stable, and uh, I'm not going to end up chopping my leg off. Okay, so we've got this now firmly um, clamped to the saw horses, and uh, we're just going to lob the corners off, at least I'm not, uh, my friend Steve is. So I'll just stand back and let him get on with it. bring a, a boy's boy's tool in to do a man's job so you get a man's tool because it's a fair old chunk of wood that's going to be flying around and I don't really like getting it between centers. Actual fact I'm going to have to pack this a little bit. So we'll get a bit of packing material. Taken off a bit of that uh, corner, I can move the uh, tool rest in it a little bit further, like so. Okay, so you can see the, the rough outline that I'm sort of looking for here now. 
Um, so I want a gentle curve down to the base down there and uh, then I want uh, a slight bead in here uh, then a gentle curve in back up to here and this is going to be the top of the bowl right there I've actually marked that position there uh, because the, the I've got a big chunk of wood missing here so um, that's as far as I can I'm bring it up but um, might be a unusual shape but I think what it's a nice <laughs> piece at the end of it so here we go So now that um, old piece of firewood is starting to look less like something to burn. So now we'll uh, take the face blade off and mount it on the chuck. Okay, um, now I've got that mounted in my chuck. Uh, now it's a case of, I suppose, chewing all this out and uh, hollowing the bowl out, but um, I think it's going to end up being something quite nice. Doesn't it make a difference when you've got a sharp tool? Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn to my uh, bowl gouge, which has a, a much larger handle on it. And uh, it's, um, well, it's a bowl gouge, <laughs> purposely for uh, sculpting out the inside of a, of a bowl.
Okay, now because of the reach of the tool is getting rather a long way hanging over the edge of the rest, I'm going to actually put the rest inside of the material there and uh, Well, something like something like that you know everybody uh, every wood turner I suppose has his own preference I don't know whether there's a particular correct sort of way to do it but I sort of find that sort of business uh, I prefer anyway. as far as I want to actually go. I don't uh, particularly like very thin walled uh, uh, bowls but this one is down to about uh, between 10 and 12 mil so um, I think I'll just start using my scraper now and clean up the inside and then um, get some sandpaper on it. Okay, so uh, I've actually retrued up the outside because uh, I wasn't really happy. There was about, uh, it was running about a millimetre or so out. Um, now it's running a little better. So, let's go down through the grits now. Start off with about, uh, oh, let's see, what's that? 100? Actually, 80. Start off with 80, and then we'll uh, we'll go up through the grits to about um, 500 or 600.
just a bit of boiled linseed oil now. turn out too bad did it especially uh, if you consider that it was a piece of firewood so I hope you've enjoyed um, today's video Making a bowl out of a piece of firewood and um, if you've liked it please um, press like and or subscribe and uh, up in this top corner as always there's a little red box that will take you to my YouTube channel where there's hopefully something there that will that will please you so uh, thank you for watching and bye for now <music>